<laughs> well, the impact of Melbourne's COVID outbreak is being felt across all of Victoria. Even if lockdown is lifted this week, snowfields will be off limits this long weekend in what is a crushing blow to Alpine businesses. Among them, Mount Buller business owners, Caroline Frey and Dan Rogers, who join us now. Good morning, guys. Thank you for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, how bad is no this for business? Um, well, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Like we've we've done this before, so we're hoping we can do it again. But you know, most of our clientele, you know, um, majority are from Melbourne. So and then international guests. So it's it's a real real tough battle for us. But we're trying to stay positive and get through it. Give us a sense of of what the numbers difference is um, on previous years. Oh, massive. <laughs> yeah, substantial. It depends really which business we're looking into. Our snowplay tours are probably down by 50 to 50%, 70% yep. just from obviously international guests which aren't travelling, as well as that our um, gym is obviously still for closure at this current moment. So that's 0%, zero percent right now. Um, so we're hoping that the lockdown will obviously ease and hopefully we can get back to a certain sense of reality. How do you survive? Uh, I've got her. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we can get married this year, this season, fingers oh. crossed. But, we, yeah, <laughs> but the plan is, yeah, to, to get married up here this season. But, yeah, in terms of how do we survive, we just remain positive. Yeah, like I said, we've done it once before. We can do it again. I think the biggest lesson Mum ever taught me was it's not what happens, it's how you handle it. Yeah. So it's really just trying to stick together. We're a very small, tight-knit community up here. Yeah. So wherever we can, we're getting the support from the government, which is great. So we just need that to continue. And when we can open up, we just need as many people up here as we can. Yeah. Um, the, 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 yeah, the federal government's promising, what, a $15,000 grant. Does that even touch the sides uh, for you guys? It's a great start. Yeah. Uh, it's been a really hard two years. So even before COVID, we had bushfires. So you have to factor that in as well. But it's really good to see the government continuing to support us because we need all the help we can get. This and one, yeah, but this one's been really hard, hasn't it? For some for some reason, and because I'm not down there and living through it, but everyone I've spoken to, Neil Mitchell included, over the weekend, I think everyone's found this one particularly hard. Maybe it was the freedom beforehand. Or what? I'm not sure. But for you guys, how would you rate it? I think that it was, everyone was extremely optimistic at the start. Yeah. Um, you know, we had a really great um, enthusiasm for this whole entire season. Um, you saw, you know, staff coming up here with a great smile on their face and um, hoping that this will be a better season. And obviously this brings a bit of a scares to some of those people. Um, obviously, you know, we need to do what we need to do in order to beat this COVID. Um, but hopefully, you know, if um, restrictions ease, we can all get back to it. And obviously with people's support, local support, and everyone just coming up to also, you know, see Mount Buller, it would definitely help us. But this has just been another kick to the guts. Like, there's, we already know other businesses that had staff just gone, nah, I'm out, I'm not doing this again, and they've gone back to Buller. So oh. it's already been hard enough over the last, you know, four months to try and recruit staff to come up here because they don't want to leave, you know, where they're living, leave their jobs, and then come up here and then get locked down again. So it's already been a battle. So and then to have this happen again, we just, we just want to get back to normality as soon as we can. Um, we wish you all the very best in that. And you mentioned that, that you're hoping to get married. Dan, have you asked Caroline yet or is this uh, just one, some sort of hopeful dream? Yes, no, no, he has been. It's been going on for two years, three years. Obviously, we, could, we were supposed to get married last year, but that didn't happen. So we're hoping for the best for this year. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you better be quick, mate. You're punching well above your weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I know. I, I tell a lot of people that myself. Same, same, same. If, same. if, if you're open to it, we've actually got a lot of guests that can't come from overseas. So if you oh, want to come down, there's actually a few seats available. I'm happy to yeah. MC. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, guys. Lucky, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All the very best. I know you're working so hard um, and we wish you all the no best worries. in the coming Thank weeks. You so Thank you so much. Congratulations, too. Talk soon. Ali.